大家好 Welcome back to Edupedia World Videos We are now at lesson 20.2 which we will do a test Okay, so don't freak out when you face the word test It is just for me It is just for you to see how much you have learned and also this test will be an effective one in helping you to review your learning see how much you have learned from the grammar structure as well as the vocabulary you have built up throughout the many lessons that we have covered okay so this test is going to be very similar to the exercise that you have done before but it is a bit longer because i just want to cover the lessons that we have been through but it is only taking a sample of each so it does not cover everything okay so what i would suggest you is to do some more review on your own on top of this test okay but this test is gonna be an efficient one to see how far you have memorized your materials okay so without further ado let's get started so the first one is to translate these English sentences and because in the past few lessons we have been doing a lot of dialogues so this test is gonna be all about dialogues okay so for the first part it's just a warm-up so it's just a few sentences for you to translate and later on we'll go on some dialogues okay so the first sentence I want you to translate is I am from Guangzhou How do you say that in Mandarin? Okay, as usual, I'm gonna give you three seconds And when time is up, I will show you the answers And of course, if you can't get the answers out in three seconds Just feel free to pause And we'll resume And you resume whenever you feel comfortable with so how do you say I'm from Guangzhou? It is 我来自广州 Okay, so it should be easy 我 is me or I 来自 is from 广州 is 广州 Okay, so it should be easy enough because I've covered this before So it's just to refresh your memory on this the next one is I'm French How do you say this in Mandarin? Okay, again, it should be simple In Mandarin, it is 我是法国人 Okay, 法国人 is like French people or France people depending on how you want to say it and the rest should be easy enough so I don't have to spend too much time on this Let's go to the next one I have some Great Britain pound. How would you translate this? It is 我有一些英镑 Okay So 一些 is some 英镑 is if you remember It's Great Britain pound And the rest 我 is I and 有 is have So it should be easy that I have some Great Britain pound is 我有一些英镑 the next one, I like to bargain in a market. It's a bit long, but it shouldn't be too hard. How do you translate this to Mandarin? Okay, it is 我喜欢在市集议价 Okay, you have learned that bargain is 议价 and 市集 is market and the rest should be easy enough. We have covered it quite extensively in first 10 lessons so what is I see one is like and then because Zai is a location so it is placed in front of the verb bargain that's why I would say I like to bargain in the market is let's go to the next one okay this one may be tricky but if you can derive that it shouldn't be too hard how do you say I dial the wrong number in Mandarin it is 
我打错电话了 Okay, so you have learned that 打电话 is to call someone via phone and if you say you call the wrong person you can just say 我打错电话 which means that I hit I hit the wrong phone this is the phrase that sometimes that we would use when we are careless so it is quite an interesting one to learn okay so the rest you should know that tour is wrong and then that's what it means the dial the wrong let's go to the next one all my sisters love to go shopping how do you say this in mandarin it is 我的姐妹全都爱购物 you learn that sisters can be 姐姐 or 妹妹 so if you have both 姐姐 and 妹妹 of course you can always say 姐妹 okay and all is 全 or 都 but if you want to use these two together it's fine and if you want to say 我的姐妹都爱购物 it's fine okay but if you just use 全 as a single one it sounds a bit weird okay so you can either say 我的姐妹全都爱购物 or 我的姐妹都爱购物 the rest should be fine it's just adding the all in front of the verb okay because it is considered as an adjective okay to the verbs okay instead of saying all all my sisters in english it's not that it's not direct translation as that okay so you're just adding chento as all and it's added in front of the verb okay so i go should be easy for you it is just to say love to go shopping so let's go to the next part you have done half of them so let's continue for more exercise because we have covered quite a lot of materials so i would need to give you a longer exercise so let's look at this so how do you say we are a family 我们是一家人 so you have learned that 家 is home and 人 is people so to say 一家人 is like saying the the people in a single home okay in in the only home so in other words it means family a family okay so let's say your cousins are being a bit uh, guest like and being very polite so you might want to say we are family don't be that polite so that's how you would use this phrase okay this is quite common in family like for example when you go for a trip sometimes you want to say that you are a family then you can say 我们是一家人 let's go to the next one the next one is I like traveling in the country how do you say this in Mandarin? it is 我喜欢在国内旅游 so what I mean in the country is within the country domestic traveling so you have learned that 国内 is domestic but in this context it means within the country so this is used as the description to the verb as well that's why it is placed in front of the word traveling which is 旅游 okay the rest should be easy so I'll go to the next one so it may come to you that you want to ask for phone number so how do you say what is your phone number okay it is 你的电话号码是多少 okay so you have learned that 电话号码 is phone number but the way we ask for phone number is to ask how much 
because it involves number. So that's why we do not say 你的电话号码是什么? We ask it 你的电话号码是多少? The phone number is considered a number. So you're asking how much. Okay? So let's go to the next one. Where is my room? How do you say this in Mandarin? Okay, you say 我的房间在哪里? Okay, so you have learned 房间 is room and 哪里 is where. So the way we say where is my room is like my room is at where. My room at where. 我的房间在哪里? Okay, so if you need further guidance on this, just feel free to go back to the previous lesson on locations. Then it will have more examples. It will have more examples of how to use this grammar structure. Okay, let's go to the next one. He likes to count money. How do you say this in Mandarin? Okay, it is. 他喜欢算钱 Okay, 算, you have learned that it's count but in the scenarios that we had it's, it's used as in determine the fact but 算 is, can be count like counting 1, 2, 3 and then 算钱 is like counting how much money is there so, you know, that somebody can be really excited when they can count money, so that's why I'm using this sentence just to let you know the other way of using swan. The last one before we proceed to the dialogue is She is rushing to work. How do you say this in Mandarin? Okay, it is 她趕著去工作 You have learned that 趕 is to rush and then 工作 is work, so 这 is to mean is the action is continuous, so 去 it has a direction of going to work because you have a destination of where to go to. So to say 他赶着去工作 is to mean she is rushing to go to work. Okay? So this is how we can use 赶着 and 工作 Okay, it's just to further enrich the usage of your vocabulary that you have built So this is all the translation of individual sentences I want to give to you From the next slide on, I want you to respond to the dialogue And the first part is the same, I will still give you the words to be translated but it's in a dialogue form okay so let's see how the dialogue goes a friend just started a new conversation he or she says I want to travel in Nanjing how do you say this in Mandarin? okay it is 我想要去南京旅游 in this sentence, it's like, I want to go to Nanjing. And of course, if you want to say, I want, 我想, 我想要在南京旅游, that is fine. But she has the direction of going there. So it includes like the journey of going there. So that would be a more comprehensive way of saying, where you want to go traveling. It is very much like the last sentence that you had. 他赶着去工作 Okay, and this one is 我想要去南京旅游 It's to say, I want to go to Nanjing and travel. So how would you respond to this? You want to ask anything? You want to follow up with this conversation? You say, I'm happy and asking about the details of the 
location. Can you think of any response and translate it to Mandarin? Okay, you may have some. You may have some answers, but what I have is this. How do you go? How do you say this in Mandarin? Okay, it is. 你怎么去？去 is go, and 怎么 is how. So to say 你怎么去 is like you how go. 怎么 is asking about the description of something. Like in this case, go. So to say, so to add description, it is always in front of the verb. And in this case, it is a question word. So as usual, this will go at where the description should be. So try and respond to this sentence. How do you go? Can you think of a mode of transportation? Okay, I hope you got some answers. But let's see what the characters here have to say. So it is said, "I'm going by long distance bus." So how do you say this in Mandarin? A, it is, 我搭长途巴士去 So it is to say, "I take long distance bus." Okay, so you can see that 搭长途巴士 is like the description. It is placed in front of the verb 去 It is exactly where the word 怎么 is placed. The rest should be easy. 搭 is to take. 长途巴士 is long distance bus. Can you think of a sentence to respond to that? Maybe you can ask how much. Like maybe you wanna say something else. Inventory. Okay, I got a sentence here. It is, "When are you going?" How do you say this in Mandarin? Okay, it is. Okay, so this is a very short question because it doesn't involve、um, subject. Of course, if you want to say the subject, you can ask, 你什么时候去 Okay, but in this context. We just ask very casually, omitting the subject there. Okay, 什么时候 is when, and 去 is go. It should be easy for this sentence. Next, do you want to give a date or a day? For example, do you know how to say next week or next month or next year? Can you think of an answer to this? Okay, I have an answer here. It is next Wednesday. I further invite the person and ask, "Do you want to go?" How do you say this in Mandarin? 下个星期三，你想去吗 ？Okay, so next Wednesday is 下个星期三 If you need revision, you just go back to the lesson that has that we have talked about time, and then. You want to go is 你想去 and to make it a sentence, a question, you just add 吗 at the back. So it is as simple as that. So how would you respond to this? Okay, the response that I have is good idea. I want to go too. I want to visit my maternal grandmother. How do you translate this to Mandarin? It's a bit long, so take some time to answer this. Okay, in Mandarin it is. 好主意，我我也想去。我想找我的姥姥。So a few new usage here. So 好 is good, but 主意 is kind of new combination to you. It means idea. So to say 好主意 is to say good idea, okay. And I want to go to. You can say 我也想去也 is also, and you can use as to t o o to. So to say 我也想去 is to mean I want to go to, okay. And it's placed in front of the verbs because it is. Description. 我想找我的姥姥 is to say, I want to find my maternal grandmother. You have learned 找 as find, but 
in this context it is understood as you want to visit someone so it's a new usage of this word so the dialogue hasn't finished let's look at what the other person responds the other person respond great we can go shopping together things that are super cheap how do you say this in mandarin okay it is how 我们可以一起去购物。那里的东西都非常便宜。Okay? So how means good, but in English, um, you can translate it as great. And the rest should be okay. So, woman is we, 可以 is can, 一起 is to say together, 购物 is to say shopping. Because you have learned 购物中心 as shopping center. To say 购物 is to say shopping. 一起 is like the description. So again, it is placed in front of the verbs. Okay? And 去购物 as usual, we are saying that we are going there and shop. Okay? So it has the... So it has the direction of going there okay if you want to say 我们可以一起购物 that's fine as well and 那里的东西都非常便宜 so is to say things there but in this context it's like saying that there is possessing some things so to say 那里的东西 is to say Things there. Okay? Do is to say all. Fei Chang is super. And Pian Yi is cheap. Okay? So remember, as for adjectives, we don't need the verb to be is are. Okay? So you just you can say things that are super cheap, okay, in direct translation, okay. And I hope you remember, Dongxi is like East West, but in Mandarin it means things. So let's go to the response of this dialogue. So the person asks to buy a ticket so she, he or she asks then can you help me buy the ticket how do you say this in mandarin okay it is 那你帮我买票吧 okay so 那 is like to say 那么 okay so if you want to make it shorter, you say na. It is also acceptable. So you have learned that na ma is like if that's so. Okay. And you can use this index. You can use na ma in this context. But here we are saying it as na, which is the same. Okay. So. 你帮我买票 should be easy. It's like you help me buy a ticket. Okay? And 吧 is like to invite someone to do something. So, this is another usage of the word 吧. Okay? It is the kind of helping sound for the dialogue usually. Okay? We don't usually use this much in written form. Okay? So, do you want to say the price of the ticket? Can you suggest a price? Okay, the price I have is the bus fare is around 97 bucks. How do you say this in Mandarin? Okay, it is 车费在97元左右 I hope you translated this very accurately. So, 车费 is bus fare. Okay. So, although 车 is just to mean 
vehicles or cars but to say traffic it is understood as bus fare because we have been talking about bus fare all the while we are talking about the bus all the while and 左右 is around okay it's like left right but it also means a, a, around it also means around or about and it is said 在97元左右 is like between is around 97 bucks okay 在97元 is placed in front because it's like the description to the around okay because as you see 在97元 is like a location so that's why it is placed in front person is handing the money so how can the person say okay so the response that I have here is thank you I'll pay you first here's a hundred bucks how do you say this in Mandarin okay it is 谢谢 我先把钱给你这里有一百块 so there should be no problem for you to say thank you it is 谢谢 谢谢 and then 我先把钱给你 it's like I first give you the money okay so 先 as you have learned is first is placed in front of all verbs okay 把钱给你 they are like verbs okay 把钱给你 is a bit longer you can always say 给你钱 我先给你钱 but in that sense you are placing 你 in priority so to say in another way, in a more normal and polite way, it is best to place qian, money, in front. So I use ba to help me. So that's why I would say, 我先把钱给你. To say pay in general without any object like ni, you can always say 给你, 给钱 okay so for example um you have finished the rest you have finished eating at the restaurants you want to go to pay so you tell the other person 我先去给钱 I'll go pay first okay and the next one here's a hundred bucks 这里有一百块 it shouldn't be any problem for you so 这里 is here and yo is like has something and 一百块 a hundred bucks okay so we usually say here has which is 这里有 and instead of 这里是 okay if we say 这里是 is to say what name what's you are saying the name of this place. To say 这里有 is to say here has something. So it's a, it's a bit different when it comes to English usage and Mandarin usage. So bear that in mind. Okay, so that's the end of this dialogue. So let's pause for a while because it's been quite a long lesson so the next lesson we'll speak more about reading and also listening okay so i will see you in the next video thank you 谢谢,